welcome back. You good? Good. I'm good. Um, I would have filmed earlier this morning, but it was super foggy and autumn is clearly here. You can see by these trees and all that. So, tiny house continues. Um, I just need to cut the end off this so I can get this upright in. Now do that over upright and that's all the uprights. So we'll see how it goes today. Now we've got fuel. So we've got to this stage. Ping. Um, just need to put the other top beam on there. Do the other side, do this end. And that's all the uprights in. Well, the not the uprights, the top beams. Um, and then we can move on to the next little bit where I put a support in the middle here, put a support in the middle there. Same on the other side. And then I've got to look at rafters, which will be a right laugh. Um, I've been procrastinating because the chain source um, chain is blunt and I can only file it so much. Uh, I've got another one on order because it's like cutting with a spoon at the moment a really overpowered dangerous spoon but i've been procrastinating and started painting everything black so you can see it used to be like that white but started painting them black and once i finish painting i can do scrape out all the old rubbish seals on them and reseal them but they're so much better than the uh what they were which if you can see clean all this rubbish up before winter as well you can see what they used to be like that the blue trim and destroyed the windows are destroyed that one's just got a little undercoat on it but they're in really bad shape but it's a cheap way just to give them a little bit of a seal and I really dislike the blue so you see the blue corner there change that to black I think it'll be miles better but you see how oh, this top piece is definitely going to have to come off with big holes in it and birds living in the attic great <laughs> right I really got to stop painting everything black and get on with a tiny house. And this is the stage I'm at. They're in. And to sort that back corner out, it's on the. But I just need to do these top bits here, and then I can start putting the middle supports in. So I'll put a big support in there, I reckon. I'm going to have to build up these edges and stuff now because. It looks like um, back to zero money, so looks like a hell of a lot more work. Cutting trees and milling them and all the fun of the fair. Is it too black? Maybe. Last beam, well, top beam. <laughs> And now, with the money not coming in that I thought was going to come in from that uh, flooding work down in South Sweden, because it's clearly decided to go with somebody else, I don't have the money which I thought I'd have, which totally changes this build and totally changes everything because I was kind of guaranteed myself that it was happening. Last beam. Bang it up there, on the end there. Um, yeah, so things don't pick up. I'm going to um, 
if you want to take a job in Norway, I just need to contact the British Embassy and the Swedish tax agency and see what they say about movement because I'm on a uh, five year Brexit visa thing. So I'm not sure I can just go and work in another Nordic state, but at least there they accept that you don't speak the language. My Swedish is not good enough here to even get a job cleaning. Trust me, I've tried. Um, I could work in the south of Sweden. My mate, I've got some mates down there that are offered work, but I'd have to be down there full time and the prices of renting a place and it just makes it not worth it. So that's a bit of a catch 22. But in Norway, you get um, free accommodation with the building work. So a bit better, you know? but we'll see. I need to contact some people today and sort some things out. But I'll put this last beam on the top and then um, I'm going to look at putting some uh, more uprights in to strengthen it. And then I'm going to start considering what to do with the roof. Yay. Mm, I think I'll run the chainsaw down that edge again. Not looking very flat. Well, in the meantime, I'm just procrastinating again. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah, if the channel doesn't pick up, uh, then this tiny house might be the last, the last of YouTube for me. Uh, I'm not totally sure yet, but um, it just takes up so much time and power, and it's not really growing, or people are not really interested. I know there's a few of you that are, but for the time consumption and power consumption, it's not really worth it for me. Um, but we'll see how it goes after this tiny house and what the winter brings and then we shall see and for the diehards you can see them taking out everything the old autumn harvest we got a few pumpkins um, the birdhouse one just didn't survive like the colds got to it hey that bad boy in there is still going look going strong so i've left that in all oh, this is going to come out and we'll put in all the winter vegetables um this little beauty Boop. hello um but yeah i'll do a little video of that once i get onto it but let's do the tony hughes first ah uh, missed him Dave the fox. He keeps sneaking by. It's probably after the ducks. You better not, because you get smacked ass. Ran out of fuel, didn't I? Again. Right, let's hope these fit. Cutting them with a chainsaw is stupid. Need to really be cutting them with a circular saw or something, but I don't have one. Sorry, it's a bit windy. I can't decide whether to put them middle supports in like that or put them on the insides of these bars and then run bits in between and the main reason for that is that the wind those reclaimed windows that I've got in the barn which are going to be an absolute nightmare to fit anywhere are like 107 which doesn't you know it's just tight in there with its framing Oh, choices, choices. Hmm. I'm gonna have to do them vertically. That's why it's annoying when money's not coming in that you thought was gonna come in. It totally changes everything. Just do them vertically. See what happens. Yeah. Yeah. Put another one in there. See how it looks. 
this little spot of rain. So I've got the put another one on there, another one on there, one on there, one on there, and I'll repeat it. On, I might repeat it on all sections and then consider maybe just verticals all the way across. Well, that's a lot of trees and don't know, but it'll be silly strong. And I'm out of screws. So, but I got some of them in, some of the supports. One on there, one on there. One on there, one on there, one on there, one on there. I just need to put another one in there, all around there, <laughs> and in there, and all them. <laughs> it's a lot. Uh, I'm going to have to replace the bar on the chainsaw as well. It's uh, seen better days. Uh, but yeah, it's coming along all right. Just slow going. And then the tidy up is going to be fun too. Uh, but let's call it there, guys and gals, because I need to go and get screws from the city, I think. I can't think where else I can get them from. I could order them online, but it'll take forever. So I do need to get some cement because I want to sort out underneath, you know, where I did all rocks on one side. I just want to cement in some of the, the other sides that are larger and I can't find the rocks to get in there so better safe than sorry especially with the weight that's on it now don't want it to start sinking especially with the uh, winter looming but anyway I'll gabble nonsense forever so if you haven't already like subscribe it really helps thanks to all the supporters you are legends and if you want to be a legend go on patreon because that would be super useful right now uh, and i will catch you in the next one be nice to each other boy see it's taking a beating hey eh? get the old chainsaw <laughs>